Historic landmark number 31 of the ASABE is the Lubin Round Hay Baler. The preservation and storage of hay to feed livestock is of critical importance to farmers. In the early 1800s, hay presses or balers were developed to compress the hay into denser bales that could be transported more readily and required less storage space. In 1892, Hugo Lubin and his sons Umo and Melchior began working on a round baler that used twine rather than wire and did not require tying. A patent was issued on September 5, 1905 for a machine for reeling edible fibrous materials. The initial idea was to develop a machine to twist straw tightly to provide heat for cooking. Early pioneers had exhausted the supply of buffalo chips and Nebraska had no timber or coal resources. The first round balers were manufactured by the Lubin Baler Company, Beatrice, Nebraska. They were mounted on a wagon chassis and could be powered by a gasoline engine mounted on the frame. The hay had to be brought to the baler, but the two men tying bales with wire were eliminated. The Beatrice Company was purchased and production of the baler ceased. The company was moved to Lincoln, Nebraska as the Round Baler Company about 1910 producing the Umo Round Bale. One interesting innovation was the modification of the baler into a self-propelled unit towing a hay loader that fed the baler. The company reorganized as the Rorty Baler Company about 1910. A pickup unit was developed to eliminate the need for the hay loader and the power takeoff of the tractor was utilized for power, resulting in a much more compact and mobile machine. The company sold machines until 1940 when it was licensed to Alice Chalmers. The Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company sold 77,000 roto balers before manufacturing was terminated. The principle of using a span of flat belts to form round bales of hay has become a principal means of harvesting hay, now in the form of 1,000 pound or larger bales rather than 70 pound bales. The development of the round baler was recognized by ASAE in 1993 and a plaque is mounted on an Alice Chalmers roto baler at the Pioneer Village in Minden, Nebraska.